Hi everyone and welcome back to our Honeypore sponsored series of videos for this year. Uh, Honeypore Hives have very kindly sponsored our uh, season long run of videos using the Honeypore Poly Langstroth Hives and today we're going to take a look at the uh, Honeypore Poly Nuke on the left hand side, uh, the light blue uh, Nuke. And this is the nuke that we have um, recently released a queen into using a queen cage. And I just want to come back and do a quick inspection to see whether she's laying successfully and just to see how the colony is developing. So we'll just give them a, a little bit of smoke. And this is a four frame Langstroth hive. Uh, it's a nucleus hive, uh, which is ideally um, suited for uh, building up young colonies, uh, building up uh, queens that are being introduced into uh, new colonies. The smoke is going really well here. Uh, and these were on a two frame setup. And hopefully uh, we've got the queen that was released um, when we first put her in. Uh, so hopefully she's doing okay. Uh, and we've got two frames of foundation in here. And uh, really this colony is just being set up, ready to go through into uh, the autumn and winter months. Uh, and I'm pleased to say that immediately in this first frame, we have a patch of eggs uh, in this particular frame. They've got plenty of food stores. We're actually in a, a period here in the UK that's called the June Gap. And although um, there are a few blackberries that you can possibly see behind me that are now in flower, uh, the general forage is at a, a fairly low ebb. So uh, they don't have a huge amount of forage. So the queen is on this frame and I'll bring the, the frame over to the camera in a second. Uh, but she's laying well. Uh, we've got brood in all stages and uh, I would anticipate that as they develop, this colony is going to uh, grow and build nicely, ready to go through the winter as a nucleus colony. And then in the spring, uh, we'll move them into a full size hive and get them uh, onto a spring forage crop where they'll then develop into a full-size colony. So I'll just bring this over and uh, uh, show you uh, some of the brood that we've got. Uh, at the moment it's not a, a terrific brood pattern but as they develop and grow so they'll have more room and what we'll probably end up doing is bringing over some frames from other colonies to bolster the colony here, uh, give them a drawn frame so that the queen has additional space that she can lay into. So I'll just bring this over and show you the queen and also the brood that she's got. So here's the frame of brood. You can probably see the queen. She's here, she's quite a, a light colored queen with just a very small dark area to the tip of her abdomen. And if I just move the frame across, you can see the brood that we have on this frame developing. And until we get more frames uh, for this colony, uh, it's going to be a little bit sporadic. The, uh, the brood pattern we're not going to see in its um, fullest state, in its best possible state until uh, we have some full-size frames ready drawn for the queen to lay into. But I'm pleased that she's been able to get started, uh, has been accepted by this small nucleus colony, and we can now go on and uh, build her up into the full-size colony that we want for next season, where hopefully they'll be able to get out and do lots of foraging and produce a fantastic crop of honey. So that's our colony. Uh, it is only a small nucleus colony. It's just a very quick inspection 
just to confirm that the queen has been released and is laying eggs. It's great to see her in there. Uh, frames of foundation um, will get drawn as we go forward and as the weather improves and we get into the summer foraging period, uh, hopefully we'll end up with uh, a growing brood nest and the queen will lay lots more eggs, the colony will develop and we'll be able to overwinter them. My thanks to Honeypaw for sponsoring this series of videos. Uh, if you'd like to catch up with more of our videos, do take a look at our Patreon page. I'll leave links to Honeypaw and our Patreon page in the description below. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching.